bar. So once you walk up to the bar, you take your grip with your thumbs. Which way do you face? Towards you or? Nope, yep, face in the air. Okay. Thumbs over the bar. Like this? Yeah. Now I want you to get your upper body under the bar while keeping your wrists neutral. Right. Bring it back down. Not, not bring the bar up just yet. Alright, so now see, see how you got it real high up there, guys? Yeah, you probably want to bring that down again. Alright, so I want you, first off, be aware of the mark of the ring. So let's go ring finger. Ring finger on the ring? Ring finger on the ring. Alright, dude. Yeah. Now step, step away from the bar just a little bit with your hands on there. Okay. Thumbs over the bar. Keeping your wrist neutral, I want you to kind of inch yourself under the bar. So see how I got one foot in front of me? Yeah, there you go. And I want that bar to rest right there. You know, if I'm flexible, I'm going to get right there. Don't bring it out yet. You're just anxious to get going. Bring it right out. Oh, no, it's too high again. Come back out. So we we got to get that bar to rest a little more comfortably. And as you just said, don't have a lot of flexibility there, we can work with that. So what we'll do first thing is let's have you take a little bit of a wider grip. So let's go middle finger. Yeah, don't, don't get too ambitious. Middle finger, yeah, no, that that's a recipe for, oh, I just lost a whole bunch of skin on my gun because it's the awesome thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so wrist neutral, slide under the bar again. Bad or much better, much better. Much lower, a little bit lower. Now, uh, come out from under the bar. Now let's do that again, but let's keep your wrist neutral. Right? You mean like this, this is neutral? Yep, that is neutral. And then, uh, so relax this finger, keep this in here. So you should look like this. This should be your wrist position and forearm position under the bar. Okay. Right? That's better, much better. Okay. That bar can come a little bit lower. Okay. Yep, that's right. That's, so that's right where it should be. So feel your scapula right here. You want that bar to rest just above your scapula. Now we lost some of that right there. That's what you want right here. That's what we want, but come out from under the bar. I would like you to get that without the expense of having to adjust your wrist when you're already under the bar. Okay. So let's see if we can do that. Let me show you something that may help with that. Okay. So take your middle finger grip, and so I'm inching under the bar, keeping my wrist neutral okay. until that bar, until I can kind of glide that bar onto my traps, keeping my wrist neutral. Then I'm going to rock back and forth, holding maybe three, four seconds. Coming back under three, four seconds until I get to the point where it's on my traps. Then I'm gonna get under the bar and begin setting up like so. Okay. I want you to give that a try. Okay, so ease into it. Hey, right, come back out. Thumbs over the bar. Yeah. This doesn't feel right. It will once we get there. Okay. So I'm like the tightest person on the planet. No, I'm seeing way tighter. Yeah, this isn't even oh, yeah. bad. Really? No. Oh, let's have a tightness coming. <laughs> I'll bring my top five guys. I'll have them burst you. <laughs> okay. That better. Good, better. So now glide out a little bit. Is there a way to get loosened up in your upper body? Like, up here, just what we're doing. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So understand too, this is the first time your body is kind of experiencing this. As you squat consistently, you will have the adaptation where you will gain that flexibility. Come on, now again. Keep your chin down, keep those wrists neutral. Alright, so let's have you 
you're actually trying to get under the bar now, keep those wrists neutral. Thumb over, wrist neutral. Thumbs over, wrist neutral. Bring your other foot to the Don't walk the foot. Yep. Don't, now, don't kill your toe. Alright. Step out. Alright. And now I want you to walk back and re wrap the bar in here. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. Now, do you remember the mental image that I asked you to kind of take about where your feet should be? Yes. Okay, so I want you uh, to get under the bar, after you get under the bar, I want you to get your feet in that position before you take the bar out. So you'll get the bar to the spine of the scapula right there with neutral wrists, then you will get your feet in that position of uh, past shoulder width and feet at about a 30 degree angle. Chin down. Okay. Step back with two steps. One, two. Okay. Very good. What I want you to do now, okay, keep your chest up. Okay. Draw your abs in. Keep them real tight. And what I want you to do is you are going to shove your hips back away from your body and tip your chest forward as you come down. Squat, squat. Yep. Okay, back up. Hey, did you tip your chest? I don't know. Tip you. So, think about tipping over. I want right? to tip over a little you bit. You want to tip over. Okay. Oh, wait, how did this happen? How did this happen? Bring it back. Bring it back, bring it back. Oh, come on. Come on, big guy. so good. You were doing it. Okay. We're going to get it all the way. Okay. Thumbs over the bar. I'm already tired. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, it's a mental workout. Well, I never did it. Okay, here we go. Crawling, inching under, inching under. Oh, oh, that's better. Hi. Go feet. Okay. Keep, keep working. Keep working. Okay, step back, step back. Your feet should be a bit wider, so not turned out more. Okay. Now, yeah, so tall chest, tight abs, you're gonna take a very large breath, and you're gonna hold it for the entirety of the movement. You're gonna keep your chin down and push your hips back. That's better, I want your hips to come further back. As you descend in the squat. Alright. Not bad, okay? Tip your chest early. Lean over like you're trying to point your nipples to the floor. Really? That's what I'm looking for, Roy. Okay. Really? Okay. Feels what feels weird? Like I'm gonna fall over. Hey, did you fall over? No, but I was always saying in my head that it had to be like you wrecked. No. So it's a mental thing. <laughs> so a wreck means tight in here, which we want. Right. But that does not mean straight up. I have to be straight. Yep. Correct. Okay, let's go again. Nipples, floor, point them. Better. Okay, continue. Okay, walk it back. Okay. Bit taller than me, and I, I like this is just perfect for me. 
pretty soon. We might be able to get away with it. Put 25s on it. We'll see if that will work. If not, we'll blow over it. We'll go back to the wheels back in. I don't know why I was. You guys flipped this freaking thing around, didn't you? I'm assuming what I'm going to take the printer off on purpose as soon as the 10 minute goes. Take your finger off. How would you have to place the printer? Stuff. If I had your squat right now, you missed it in that, it would definitely be a little small because you didn't have to put it inside. Put one side of it. Put it good. Put it oh, all. Damn, damn it. I'm not going to let you know what I'm suing. <laughs> okay, now everything is safe. That's good. Okay. Middle finger. Done. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. It's a neutral thing. I have a hard time with this one. Hey, I like that far position. Okay. No rules. Back to me a little bit. Does that feel okay? Yeah, tight. Okay. It's okay. A little tight. Try to maintain that. I squat the bar out. Step back, step back. Right. Where should your feet be? A little bit more than shoulder width apart. A little bit more than shoulder width apart. I like the toe angle. Hey, right. big breath, chin down. Nipples to the floor. You're still very vertical. Trust yourself to lean forward more. <laughs> Nipples to the floor. Chin down, do not exhale at the top. Nipples. That's more what I'm looking for. Two more. One more. Bring it back. Hey, you still have that tendency. She comes up a little bit, and then you get vertical on your way up. You're doing better at bringing your chest towards the floor as you go down. But then what's happening is at times you're looking up, you're getting real straight too soon. Okay. So let's take, let's just add 10 more pounds. Have 10 on. Take you two big steps. Yeah. They weren't big enough. I'll do better next time. Okay. Chest to the floor. Hey, 